In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a timer that counts up. So first of all, I've created a game where the cat is just collecting fruit. I've got controls for the cat so that the cat moves up, down, right, and left. I've got a variable called fruit collected that starts out at zero each time you press the green flag. And each time you press the green flag, it shows the fruit in case it was hiding before. And then forever, if the cat touches it, it changes the fruit collected by one and hides. Let's see how it works. Alright, so that's working. It's a really simple task, so what we're going to do to make it more of a game is time it. The person gets a score based on how quickly they accomplish that task. In order to create a clock that counts up, we could use the built-in timer, which resets itself to zero as soon as the green flag gets clicked, or resets whenever you use the reset timer code. Or, you can just create your timer using a variable. This method isn't as accurate, but it's easy and uh, I like it because it's simple. You could name it anything you want. You could name it time, timer, clock. In order to program this, we're starting a new script. When the green flag gets clicked, we set the timer to zero. And then forever, it is going to wait one second, then add one to the variable time. The final thing that we need is some code that stops the game. For this game, it stops whenever the cat has collected both the fruit. So when fruit collected equals two. So let's add that to this script. It's forever going to be looking to see if fruit collected equals two. Then it's going to stop everything. Let's test it out. The timer stops. Great, that worked perfectly.